highlight a potential trading opportunity in the week starting Monday, the 12th of February. It's around UK inflation, which is due out midweek, uh, seven o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. We get consumer price inflation, producer prices, and also retail prices from the Office of National Statistics. And I want to highlight this as a potential uh, trading opportunity. Uh, headline consumer price inflation was 4% in December. Uh, less than half the rate it was at the start of 2023, but it's still double uh, the Bank of England's target of uh, 2%. I want to show you this in the context of this chart, uh, which is sterling against the US dollar. The risk is potential downside, I think, possibly for the sterling trade here. While the BOE has been worried about the stickiness of inflation and still the risk of higher wages remains, Swati Dingra, the only member of the MPC to vote for a rate cut at the last meeting, argued that goods price deflation would be potent enough to see UK inflation at the central bank's 2% target this year. So will inflation drop more than forecast come Wednesday? And will the markets interpret this to mean that the Bank of England could well start cutting interest rates sooner now rather than later? If that's the case, there's a potential downside here at 126.31. I want to show you the levels to watch out for. There's the 200-day moving average down here at 125.65. Uh, and then comes this low point we had here back on Monday, the 5th of February at 125.18. That looks to me like a uh, price target uh, to watch out for on the downside. Then if you get a break of that, there's not, what, not much, then taking it all the way down to 120.38. Uh, Sterling is going to have to weaken considerably to get to that level, and it certainly won't do it in one jump. But uh, I wanted to highlight the potential downside if we do get a more aggressively negative number coming through on inflation come Wednesday next week, the 14th of February.